Hello everyone. I thought about doing a low poly asteroid tonight uh, tutorial. All right, for this tutorial you need uh, to do two things. Well, actually only one. The other one is optional. Uh, first, you need to have uh, loop uh, loop tools installed. If you go into edit mode and you have this on, uh, then you don't need it. But otherwise, you'll have to go into edit preferences and find mesh loop tools. It's down here somewhere mesh loop tools and install it. Uh, the other thing that you probably need to do would be to have assigned a shortcut to bisect. Uh, all you have to do is right click on it and assign a shortcut. Myself I got five. You might want to do something else. Maybe something closer to uh, your hand than too far up on the keyboard like I did but five worked for me so uh, now to use the bisect tool, uh, you have to press A to select, uh, to, uh, actually you have to be in edit mode, press A to select the whole thing, uh, then press the, the shortcut that you have assigned to it, a uh, bisect tool, which mine is 5, and make sure you're below the, uh, the mesh and drag up upwards. Now if you only get a cut, if you don't, I have my some, uh, my tool set up already but if you don't if you only get a cut go down here and choose fill and clear outer and then just click anywhere on the screen and you'll get something like this now mine has got a hole in it because I have back face calling check that out oh, for some reason um, the bisect tool turns the faces inside out if you know a way that you do it straight up and you won't turn the faces inside out let me know so all you have to do is repeat this process again and again. A5, drag, and do this. A5, drag, until you get something like a rock. You get the idea. So I'm going to finish this, or at least get it to some, uh, in some kind of a shape that it looks like a rock. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, this is fine. Now to see the normals, if they're facing the right way, you can go down here in viewport overlays and check this straw, view normals, display normals, right there. And it'll show the straws for the normals that are facing the right way. If your face doesn't have a straw on it, Press 3 to go into face mode and uh, check all the, I mean, select all the faces that are facing, the wrong, that don't have a straw on it, by holding shift. Make sure you select all of them and go through it a couple of times. Because if you apply materials and do modifiers on them, on, on the object, uh, and then you take it into Unity, for example, then Unity is not going to display the faces. You'll have holes in it, if you, even if you miss one. So I think I got all of them. Pretty sure that I did. Let's see. Yeah. And just go to normal uh, mesh, normals, flip. And now you'll see they're all facing the right way. Just to make sure, go here and check back face calling. Back face calling will display holes if uh, the normals are facing the wrong way. So I don't have any holes, I don't think I do. I'm just going to uncheck the display normal uh, icon. Uh, now, go into object mode by pressing tab press the key, the modifier tab here, and go into add a modifier, subdivision. And you'll have something that looks like a boulder, maybe. And if you're in object mode, it'll show up like this. If you press tab and go into edit mode, you'll have the shell of the modifier. 
So in order to get rid of the shell, you're going to have to apply the modifier. And if you go back into edit mode, you'll have the boulder. And you can select all the individual faces that are created. Now I'm going to try two different ways to... Uh, I'm going to make some holes in it. There are a few ways you can make a hole in it. Uh, you can uh, bevel a vertex. You can apply a subdivision modifier on all of those and then make it into a circle. And then flatten it. Or you can apply a boolean, which I don't think it's necessary, but I'm going to try to... Uh, I'm going to go into uh, vertex mode by pressing 1 on your keyboard, select the vertex, and to bevel a vertex, you just press shift control B. Okay, right click on it, loop tools, circle. Yeah, that didn't work out. All right. I'm going to try and subdivide it. I'm going to subdivide it. Let's take it to four. And I'm going to go again, loop tools, circle. And that worked out. I'm going to scale it a little bit by pressing S. But don't go too far to the edge because you're going to need to bevel this edge and it'll need room to expand. So now extrude it inside by pressing E and take it down a little bit. Then scale it by pressing S to something about this size. Now press 2 on your keyboard, go into edge mode and select this one, one of the edges, then hold control and go around. Well, if that didn't work, stay closer. Sometimes you won't recognize them, but anyway, select the whole outer edge, press Control B, and drag and bevel. And with your mouse, with your mouse wheel on your mouse, create more loops. I think that that'd be enough. Now you can do the same thing for this edge. I don't think it's necessary because in a game you're not going to pay attention to this, but uh, let's try it out, see what comes out. Okay, control B. Yeah, see, you might have a problem. You can go a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so you have one hole, and you can repeat this process a few, a few times until you get. I don't know, maybe five, six holes in, in this case. So press 1 to go into vertex mode. Choose a vertex. Control B to, ex, uh, to bevel. And this one don't want to work. I'm sorry, Control Shift B to bevel. That was my mistake. Now click Circle from Loop Tools. You see that it's not perfectly flat. You can also go into loop tools and flat, flatten, flatten it out. That way you won't have imperfection. But I mean, let's face it, this is a rock. You know, it can be any shape possible. Now press E, extrude it inside a little bit. Press S to scale it. Now press 2 to go into edge mode can click one edge, hold control down, and go around and select all the edges. Now control B and go don't go too far so you don't go over the the edges. And you'll have something like that. So I'm gonna repeat this process quite uh maybe about four times or so and I'll get back to you.
All right. So I think we got a basic shape here uh, of an asteroid. Uh, if you want to apply a color, you can do it from here. But I'm just going to do this version. It's a new way of doing things. I'm just going to go to into UV editing. Make sure you have your mouse cursor on this side. Press A to select all. It'll unwrap it for you, but just to make sure it's unwrapped, press U, unwrap. Now, uh, you can create a mesh, or you can, uh, I mean, a texture, or you can just get a simple color, one pixel by one pixel. You can make that in any paint program. And uh, open it from open. Uh, let's choose, I guess, this one. And it'll fit it right inside for you, the unwrapped uh, uh, mesh. Um, make sure you have your mouse cursor on this side. Select, Press A to select all. Press S to scale. Scale it to something extremely small, like 0 0.01. Press 0 0.01 on the keyboard. Press Enter. Press G to grab it. Take it to the color that you wish and it won't show up yet because you need to go into shading press shift A go into texture image texture add a node from color to base color and right here in this icon drop down choose the texture that you selected earlier and it'll show up Now, in the UV editing, if you don't see it, go up here in the viewport shading and select texture. And why is it showing pink? I must have made a mistake here in shading. Yeah, this is, it was the second one. Uh, that's your asteroid, basically. Uh, it's low poly and uh, only one material. Uh, usually in Unity, you're not just going to use one asteroid. You probably use like a thousand, so you can scale it and in all kind of ways. And you can just want you can use just one asteroid to make a thousand. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down so I can improve. And thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.